Welcome to Big Brother Bile, taking you through all this week's events on Celebrity Big Brother, right through from the introduction of turd burglar Gillian McKeith, through to breaking news on the court case between Ashleen Horgan Wallace and Farah Abraham, and I believe the case for the Prosecco Cushion has <laughs> now rested. Dear God. <laughs> Welcome to the show. It's our penultimate edition of this series of Big Brother Vile. Or, you know, the UK one. <laughs> Have you had a nice week, James? How are you doing? What is this, Generation Y? <laughs> awesome. Oh, I've had a fucking shit week. <laughs> and it's been made worse by this crap-ass reality show awesome. I've got to sit through. I apologise for asking. So, Gillian McKeith... Was she a good addition to the show or not? Well, hang on a minute. Look, let's look at the competition here. Paul Burrell. Uh, oh, he was good. Pamela Anderson. She was good. Everyone was better than Gillian McGee. Uh, who's a ba- another bad one? The Gorilla. <laughs> Don't ask me to remember things. Right, so we're going from when they all shat in a box. Right, as now... As you do. Was it real shit? Did we actually see it or just at the corner of our eye? I saw... The whole thing? I, I, I definitely... Well, if it's real shit, I definitely saw <laughs> Stephanie's actual poo-poo. Ew. And honestly, I mean, I'm not one to talk, it looked pretty rank. I quote, it smells like no tomorrow and it's a stressed out poo. But this is Gillian McKeith. Yeah. And also, it's Big Brother poo. It's not like normal poo. Surely, there must be like a documented... If you go on, like there must be a private forum for people that have been on Big Brother for like long periods of time. There must be like Big Brother bum. <laughs> there must be like a syndrome, right? Oh, what, like Darren Day's got? He can't go poo-poo? Of course. I heard last night, I'm not sure if it's on live feed, but he said he couldn't go wee-wee either. And someone said they're going to call a doctor. Yeah, Stephanie, she said you need to see a doctor. So he can't poo. But at that he age... He can't wee. He can't masturbate. No wonder he looks so uptight. Fucking hell. And now he's been fantasising about um, <laughs> other women. <laughs> he has not. No, fantasising about cheating <laughs> with other women, apparently. <laughs> Disgusting. So... Those fanny rats, they never change. <laughs> you should put Lee Ryan in All Stars 20 years time. Fanny rat for life. <laughs> oh, the fanny rat season. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> so, um, oh God. Uh, oh, do you think this poo thing is scraping the barrel? Would you poo in a box on telly? Yeah, for a task, yeah. <laughs> I want to see to see them actually poo in the box for our money. Do you know what I mean? Well. <laughs> so then... Um, but did everyone poo? Did GC poo? No, it was only the impure housemates or something. Uh, more of which later. Gillian said, Darren is emotionally holding and severely constipated. Yeah, he's sitting on the fence so much. <laughs> he can't let go of what's inside him. He's such a wishy-washy, nothingy person. He's... He can't even do a poo-poo. He's... That's how unnatural he is as a human. He sat on the fence so much, it's literally compacted the poo up his ass. Goodness me. That is disgusting. And don't forget, I saw him eating standing up. Now, that's not going to help your emotions, is it? Someone buying some prunes. Mm-hmm. So, what do you think about this whole pure housemates get to nominate and how the pure housemates were chosen? Do you think that was a fair, transparent process of nomination in the Big Brother house? Look, if you want to muck about, <laughs> fucking go on the street and do it. Like... So, Gillian gets to choose who the pure housemates are. Daniel, uh, oh, but when you say Gillian, what you mean is Ted. Yeah, in the year, but she had an earpiece and there's an actual picture of it. On no Twitter. shit. So uh, now, I d- well, I don't know about you listeners, but when I think of pure housemates, I think of Gemma Collins, so fit and healthy. Doesn't you know? Eats clean, doesn't smoke, anything like that. Charges fifteen pound for a photograph. Daniela Westbrook. Oof. Now, if only we could all live our lives like she has, mm. completely toxin free. Who else was pure? John. Uh, well, he's a def- he is pure. He's a pure, but he likes he's a pure gamer. He likes to stir the shit. That's for sure. Yeah, that's but true. Maybe it's other people's, not his own. Uh, who else was pure? Fuck nice. Anyway, the pure people nominated. Uh, here we go. Daniela nominated Steph and Jez. So did Gemma. Fix. Uh, Scotty T nominated Tiffany, the woman he's been getting off with, and Stephanie because he hates women. And John nominated Stephanie and Jez. Boo. So. Basically, Daniela and Gemma were immune. What is the benefit of Big Brother making those two hags immune? Who is immune? Daniela and Gemma and John. 
Uh, Scotty T. Woof. I don't know. I don't either. It's annoying though. So then, um, uh, then we had. But what? Hang on. The whole thing with that task was mm. that when the Ginny McCarthy first went mm. in, mm. she said. Oh, They're like, septic and shit. No, she said Gemma Collins can't take part in the task oh, yeah. because medical she's reasons. medical reasons. Mm. And then she couldn't go in the task room the second day. For, oh, I assume, she's claustrophobic. This, no, I assume the same reason. <laughs> but then when it came to voting, suddenly she was pure. And uh, Paul, what's his You can't say? be pure just by having... Med- if anything, those medical problems are impurities. That's true. Exactly. And on Gillian bo- McKeith, you're a cunt. And on bots... Paul said... Um, oh, I don't watch bots. He, Paul said to Ryland, can you tell me what Gemma's medical oh. condition was that she couldn't do a task? And Ryland's like, oh, I'm just hearing my ear. She was feeling nauseous. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, uh, go on, Paul, you tell oh, him. I can't put the electric shock suit on. I'm feeling nauseous. What? Shut up. That new electric shock suit they put Stephanie in, if you put that on GC, well, first of all, it is splitting off. And secondly, <laughs> James! she's fucking died. Mind <laughs> you, you'd be like, oh, no, sorry. <laughs> Stephanie was good in that electric shock suit. How are, we, are we like the hard for money or something? We can't afford electric shock suit yeah, for everyone. I think they took all the voltage <laughs> from the other, other suits, all 16 of them, <laughs> put them into one suit because she went mad. But then John said she was actressing. Did he? I wanted to see Gemma Collins in that electric shock suit. Like, Come on. I'm not doing she... it. I'm not doing it, Big Brother. <laughs> what? It would never happen. No, nah, never. It would never have happened. So then, oh God. Now we've got Daniela going, you'll never work again after this show. Now. But what about the magazine she can, deals? She can fucking talk. Yeah, what has she been doing lately? The right stuff, for yeah. all I can see. And then she went, uh, she was homeless or something. Oh, she just yeah. makes up like problems just to get in closer. Ste- I heard Stephanie and Jeremy have been offered their own show. That like the offers are rolling in, so. Oh, just like John James and Josie. <laughs> Give them the same flat. Uh oh. Maybe um Sam Reese can move in like JJ did. <laughs> Could, what you think maybe Scotty T can move in oh, to, uh, God. to invigilate make oh. sure there's no no low morality going on while he wipes his shit off on a sheet and shuffles it under a bed <laughs> under a what? bed uh, so then <laughs> you're ruining our shitty sheet section later oh. <laughs> so then um, hang on he's Geordie Shaw yeah and he shit on the sheet and he's ex on the beach and his owner Charlotte Crosby <laughs> she pissed the bed yeah, what's what gives? I mean, the thing is, if a dog shits on the bed, you're like, well, what can you do? <laughs> really, isn't it? That's what dogs do. That's what they're about. <laughs> if Charlotte Crosby is a human, what's the excuse? But the way that he told that story, we're going to have to cover it now. He looked so proud of himself, like he was doing all that hand movements of the wipe in the sheet. Imagine if you were that girl who was having, well, ugh. It, ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, that uh, was just actually to see. imagine. Just imagine, just imagine if a girl told that same story. Can you imagine? It'd be funny about shitting themselves. Or how, can you imagine? That'd be can, wicked. Can you imagine what people on Twitter would be saying? Just, just think about think about that for a minute. Actually, you, you, imagine you, if Stephanie said it. You couldn't get away with it so easy if you're a girl, could you? Because you, you know, <laughs> it's in direct contact, really. Well, isn't it? where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> so that's when you need a nappy. So, oh, this is when Stephanie, like, bashed out the diary room door. Jeremy was in the old um, detox room, hiding under a towel. Do you remember? Stephanie went loopy, and she was, like, screaming, and then security come in. Oh, Dave. Dave came in again. Yeah, and then uh, they could hear her screaming and smashing stuff, and Gemma Collins goes, he's smashing up the gaff. I thought, that's fucking rich, bitch. You've fucking gone out the fire exit ten times. Um, So then Steph went into the detox room with Jeremy and the security guard, and Jeremy's like, oh, who's this geezer? (laughs) (laughs) To be sure. And then this was just at the point, it was basically Julian McKeith going to Stephanie, you can't go near Jeremy, you've got to stay away from Jeremy, that made them actually finally admit their love for each other. So Julian McKeith did do something useful, because the thing that was annoying me about Stephanie was she would, she was just trying to keep her options open. At least she finally turned around and said, I'm choo- I choose you, Jeremy. Yeah, but is she going to tell Sam by a text <laughs> or a letter <laughs> or some sort of um, pigeon pigeon carrier? Do you think... Pitch, don't mention the pigeon shit. Oh, yeah. Do you think Ginny Minky have told her, look, Sam's dumped you, so you got the green light for Jeremy? I mean... 
How could you not have worked that out? By, yeah, that's by... true. That's true. Good point. Seemed like Jillian Mickey was only in there for like ten minutes at a time each day. She wasn't really like pulling her weight. No, not that she's got much weight to pull. But um, so then Steph and, Der- and Jeremy went to the diary room, and they're like, "We both want to leave." <laughs> okay, the door to your right is open. Um, I don't know who John was talking to, but he went, "It doesn't mean shit what these people think." I love the way John gives us <coughs> stupid pep talks. Do you think Jeremy is cunt-struck? <laughs> I think you asked me this already. I know. <laughs> um, he is, though, isn't he? I think he is, because he threw away his whole game mm. for Stephanie. Uh, like Clay. So then... Oh, yeah, Stephanie next day got a warning for breaking the door. And... A uh, warning? They still do those? Yep. Yeah. Ah, uh, you. There's a bit on GC here, little interlude. Oh yeah, bye. You saw her making a marmite sandwich, and you said it was actually disgusting. The amount she of marmite. Put so much <laughs> marmite on it. Like everyone knows, marmite is very. It's like that wasabi sauce. It's very like it's not spicy, but Remember? it's very strong stuff. You wouldn't like put like a like I use peanut butter. You wouldn't use loads of the stuff. Remember That's when gross. They, we give it to Jonathan to try? He didn't like it. And that was with a, a tiny bit. <laughs> That eating all that marmite yeah. is like having a whole cow in a sandwich. Ew. Well, <laughs> she also told someone she spent two hundred pound on a makeup brush. Do you think that's working out for her? She probably got it for free anyway. Oh uh, yeah, she probably like on Instagram with it. It's like those Laboutons she gave to <laughs> fucking Tiffany. Imagine GC's Instagram. <laughs> Do you think she looked like that horse? I did. <laughs> it looked like a little sister. It wasn't a horse. <laughs> it had the same hair as a. <laughs> it was a Shetland pony. On Twitter, someone did like the face swap thing, so the horse had her. <laughs> it was quite funny. Now, funny. that is trolling. Can you please stop that, <laughs> Big Brother fans? It's disgusting. Behave yourselves. And then um, she said she wants a Bentley. Well, big she wants a Bentley. I saw a lady on Deal or No Deal once <laughs> that wanted a Bentley, and she went home with one P. Yeah, but at least she followed her dream, just like GC. So then, uh, now we've got ring, 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 ring. Somebody answer the phone. Oh, uh, now first of all, it's a two day mm-hmm. task. It was actually uh, that sounded like a coup day task. Uh, <laughs> uh, hold on, but I didn't mind that task. Why? I just thought it was got. It basically it was like letters from home, but. Redux, it was like improved letters from home. Well, I've seen phone calls from home before. Remember when Audley couldn't speak to his wife or some crap? Do you mean Audrey? No, I mean, I mean Audrey. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was when him and James Jordan were in the dark. Oh, let's not fucking go into that again. Yeah, um, so <laughs> back, back in that good season. <laughs> I liked it when like the fake people were ringing up, like the PPI, and Gillian rang up. But they'd done that last I know, year. I thought it was quite funny. And then Megan rang up and Scotty T like, hung up on Megan. I thought that was quite funny. And then, yeah, and that was good. Yeah. And then when Darren Day's like, oh, fuck off. Uh, yeah. So like that cold call. It's like, what's wrong with you? Rude. And then Darren Day got a call from his mum. Oh, Darren, we're so proud of you. Darren Day's mum? <laughs> yeah. Proud of him? <laughs> I mean, his wife, you know. Oh, the what? Oh, <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I love you, pipe. Oh, Darren, have you still got your chastity belt on? Fucking hell, man. And this wife is the wife who he cheated on. So no wonder he's shitting himself all the time. Not literally like Scotty T. Woof. But this is the wife he cheated on. So no wonder he's acting like such a... Um... What? Asshole. Right. <laughs> I'm trying not to say pussy anymore. Okay. <laughs> so then, um... Hold on. What else? Oh, yeah... Uh, Darren, why was Darren still upset about John's noms over it in here? Well, how did that come out? I'll never get over it fully. I'll <laughs> never move on. You said even if they're friends in years to come, it'll come up over Christmas. I said, yeah, of course, every it. Christmas. That would ruin Christmas <laughs> every year, money. I'll go some more of that later. Oh, and then Darren, Ginny and McKee said Darren couldn't have a fag or something, and he was like, I'm out of it, I've had enough. It's like, you're going to leave because you couldn't have a fag like Nadia. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, and Christopher Maloney phoned up during the phone task. Oh. Like, he got a short shrift as well. Christopher Maloney. <laughs> um, so then, oh yeah, that's not that interesting. Um, oh yeah, um, St- St- Stereo were outside having a fag, and that like knocked time off the the call time off the clock. Why? Because like, you were you had to eat clean and like live clean basically to get more call time. Oh. And Scotty, but you also weren't allowed to swear. So they were outside having a fag, and then Scotty T goes, "Oh, they're fucking out there having a fag." It's like. Uh, you're not allowed to swear either, so you just knock time off too. So it's better to have a fag than to swear. But did they not time off for him? Yeah, yeah, they, of course they did. Um, 
And then, um, hold on. Oh, John got a call from his sister. Is mum all right? 